In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your backdrop if you've used a green screen or a green backdrop or even a blue one and if you're using iMovie like me. All right, let's hop straight into it. Now, as you can see, I've opened my iMovie. Step one. All right, now step two, um, you should have recorded um, with a green backdrop. Now, green backdrop. I, had, I can't believe I'd never done this before, but it's so easy. I bought my backdrop. It's uh, like cotton fabric, which I got from a craft store. I got about two and a half meters, and then I stuck it on my wall. Um, the important thing about this green is that this fabric is that it should be thick enough so that if you're hanging it over a rack um, or a stand, that the light doesn't get through because that impacts the way um, if you're able to change the backdrop later on. Anyway, so that's my uh, green backdrop story. And then the next step is to download uh, your background footage. Just FYI, I found a website which is really good to download from. Um, let me show you. It's called Vidivo. That's not the one. That is my presets. Um, but Vidivo. Um, just Vidivo.net. The way I found this was I literally typed into Google free Tokyo video background and um, that's how I got this and that's how I found that site but the reason why I say it's really good is because I did search other things prior to that and the downloads were a little bit harder. The thing about Vidivo is that you can um, you can get free backdrops but you can also get paid ones. With the free ones all you have to do is credit the source or the author. All right let's hop straight back into the tutorial. Here we are and how you're going to change the backdrop is like this. So you're going to take the background footage, right? And then you're going to put your footage on top. So the one where the foreground is must be on top, not on the bottom. All right, so now that they're both on sort of like on top of each other, um, you see this little icon here? So that wasn't there before. When, when you don't have footage overlapping each other, that icon is not available. Because that icon is mainly so that you can put footage with footage in the same screen. So click that icon and then make sure you've also clicked on the on your footage, the one that you're in, right? Click on that and then select blue, 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 green blue screen. Boom! Now, by the way, <laughs> this footage is sideways because I was filming this for Instagram. So to stop driving us crazy, I'm just going to uh, flip that to the right side. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to go back in and make sure that's part of the blue-green screen. And voila, you are done. Now, you'll notice that my arms cut off here. And that's because my camera was like this. So by the time I put this on Instagram, it's not really going to matter. But if you want your, you know... Uh, hmm. If you want to be like your full self, like with all of your limbs in your footage, you want to make sure that um, you don't cut off because when, like, let's say cut out of the frame, like right now I'm cutting out of the frame. So if I add this to a green screen, my arm will be cut off like this. So that's your main thing. Now um, you'll notice there's a little bit of contrast between where I am and the background. You can change that a little bit by manipulating the softness, right? If I go really like that, you can see there's a distinct difference. So let's go like that. And you can still manipulate your colors. I manipulated mine um, a little bit. But it, like I said, because I'm putting this on Instagram, it doesn't really matter. Um, the only thing I need to work out now is how to scale this properly. Because on Instagram, you know, this size, this format is not ideal. You want your footage to be long like this so even when I exported this footage um, it was quite not ideal let me show you I actually have a sample so here is what it ended up looking like but from here I still needed to edit it some more so this is what it ended up looking like which if I were to cut this size off it's totally okay but this size is only good for I no, Instagram stories, not Instagram feed. So while we're here, I'm just going to show you as well how to resize it to make it even just a little bit better for Instagram feed, okay? Now, we're going to get a little bit technical. Not super technical, but 
Um, I'll show you what the final outcome will be once you resize to optimize for Instagram. So you'll see my body takes more of the space, yeah, in comparison to the other one. So I've lost a little bit of like height or length, but that's okay. It's a learning experience. But in order for you to get from here to here, what you need is the app called Keynote. So Mac users, this is for you. Um, if you're not a Mac user, I don't know how you're going to do this. But if you are a Mac user, stay on and see how I'm doing it. So here's Keynote. Um, where is it? It's here. I've opened it. Now it's blank. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to import. Um, let's just go cancel. Keynote is open, right? Let's get out of there. I never use Keynote, so I don't know really how this works. Let's just go new. New, and you're going to go, my presentation, doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm choosing this one with black backdrop. doesn't really matter because um, you're going to cover that. Here's what does matter. So don't worry about this. You can delete that if you want. You don't have to delete it. Go to the upper right-hand corner and click on document, right? Mm, 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 mm. And now, oh, my screen is covering it. I'm just going to drag that over so you can see. All right, document. See here, you go slide size. You want to choose like, go to custom slide size. And for Instagram feed, it's 10 by 8, or sorry, 8 by 10. So we're going to go 800 by 1000. And that is, that is the dimensions that you need. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop this footage, the original one, the one that hasn't been resized, just to show you. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now you can see this is a bit of a guideline. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see my mouse here. I'm going to take it to the corners and I'm going to stretch it out. Stretch it out. Let's just stretch it out. We're going to stretch it out so that my corner, see here, my end here is also touching the end of the background there. So I'm just going to keep, I think I'm going to stretch this out quite a bit to make that happen. I'm going to even have to drag it out. And then I'm going to drag this over and see, does my back and my arm touch? Not yet. So keep dragging it out. This is how I ended up losing a fair bit of the fashion. Next time, I think I just have to bring my camera further away from me. <laughs> that is the quick answer. So can you see now the edges of my arm and the jacket? It's a pretty easy way to, to gauge whether I'm on point or not. This is not ideal. I There is definitely an easier way to do this, but anyway, we're getting there. All right, there you go. And now I'm just going to drag this so that it covers the black. And then, ta -da, let's play it. Yes, okay, we're ready to go. All right, now, now that it's done, you want to just, ex sorry, my nose is itchy. <laughs> You want to export this, so you want to export it as a movie. I think Keynote is uh, like a, it's like PowerPoint, right? But anyway, click on File and then go Export to and click on Movie. Click on Movie. Is that how it went? Yeah, I didn't really change any of this because it's not relevant. I don't have slides. I don't have anything else. Click on Next. And now we're going to put in um, YouTube sample. Okay, export. Mm, 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 mm. That's going to be done soon. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Yay, here it is. I'm just going to open that now with my QuickTime player. Ta -da! My, sorry, my computer's lagging a little bit. But it's done. And now you can just airdrop that to your mobile or do whatever you want to do with it. And it is fit for the gram. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you give this a try because it's so much fun and it's so worth it. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know below. While we're here, I'm just going to drag this just to show you what a light leak looks like. Um, yeah, if, oh, if you have any questions, let me know for sure. Um, if you have any other methods of resizing video, please let me know in the comment section down below. But look at this. How sick that is. Woo! Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. 
I'm doing a series of tutorials around tech things for content creation like photo editing, video editing, just because I get asked that stuff a lot in my physical life, in my real life. So I'm going to do a few tutorials, um, which I hope help you. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. If you are not so much of a fan of these kinds of things, that's all right. Maybe tune out for the next couple of weeks while I stream out these tutorials. Um, I normally do like travel, talk about life. We do, we just do a bunch of bits and pieces. I do reviews, I love fashion, la la la, um, and there's a whole bunch of that other sort of content on my channel, especially travel, where I, I used to be a flight attendant, so teach you how to travel savvy and stylishly. Um, all right, so comment down below, let me know if you like this video or if you have any questions. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. See you in the next video.